Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Riley and I travel the country in a 2015 Subaru Outback with my dog, Tyson. Here he is. I have a loose goal of visiting all 50 states, but mostly I want to spend more time outdoors, being more active, and visit cool places. Right now, since we're in the thick of winter, my main goal here was heading south to warmer weather. Pretty soon I found myself arriving in Nashville, Tennessee, and since this was my first time visiting, I decided to stop at a local coffee shop to get some work done and figure out the lay of the land. I'm really glad I picked this place. I think it's called Falcon Coffee Bar, and it has a super amazing, chill, laid-back atmosphere. I don't quite remember where I found this place, but they do sell vegan dishes, and it even has its own random cocktail bar attached at the back. After I finished up work, it was time to explore the nightlife. Did you know that there's a Parthenon in Nashville? I sure didn't, and this is one of my favorite attractions to visit. Mm -hmm. 
Hi friends, I'm here at Centennial Park and I just ran into a new friend. This is Eduardo. Eduardo. I'm a TikTok star and a YouTuber as well. I don't know. Are you? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> The Parthenon in Nashville is the world's only exact size and detailed replica of the original temple in Athens, Greece. I think it was originally built in about 1897, but over the years due to deterioration, by 1920 they made the decision to rebuild it, and the exterior of the building was completed by 1925. Today the Parthenon is known by its nickname the Athens of the South and it is the epitome of Greek classical architecture. Tyson and I weren't able to go inside, but I learned that the Parthenon continues to host changing art exhibitions in its galleries and to educate both Nashvillians and visitors about the legacy of the ancient Greeks and their impact on American civilization. trying to catch the sunset. <laughs> Afterwards, Tyson and I went downtown to the John Sagenthier Pedestrian Bridge. I'm probably saying that wrong. Up here you get a really good view of Broadway Street, I believe, and just like the night in general. It was honestly just the perfect night. Cool breeze, not too cold. As you can see, it's a bit cloudy today, so unfortunately there wasn't a real sunset to catch, but the views were still really pretty. Is it possible for a solo person to eat here? A solo person? <laughs> oh, thank you. Of course, no visit to Nashville is complete without a taste of good old-fashioned southern food. And so that's how I found myself at this great little restaurant called Monel's in the Germantown neighborhood of Nashville. The way it works is that it's all family style seating and sharing. The menu changes every day, but typically it's like fried chicken, green beans, cheesy grits, cornbread, stuff like that. And you sit at a large table and just start passing the bowls um, to your left with a big group of people. Either you come with your family as a big group or you can come and sit at a table of strangers. And since in this case I was by myself, they just set me at a table that was already had like six or seven people. Honestly, I was a little bit happy to be around people again and just like have social interaction. We had a great time getting to know each other and they were super fascinated with my van life adventures. Overall, I enjoyed Nashville so much that I ended up staying for an extra three or four days. I spent most of the time sleeping at truck stops and I think maybe one night I got a hotel. I think maybe I could have stayed a lot longer because there's so much of Nashville to explore, but I knew soon enough that it was time for me to move on. I hope you liked today's video. I had so much fun making this. If you want to follow more of my adventures, please click the like and subscribe button down below. That would really help me out so much, so I very much appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.